Hello, this is Loveland Public Library's Need to Know tutorial showing you, from start to finish, how to access our downloadable media on your PC using the OverDrive software. Before we begin, it's important to note that this video is designed for PC users specifically. If you're on a Mac or a mobile device, you won't be able to copy these steps exactly. Watch this video through, but then check out the specific tutorial about the differences for your device. The basic steps we'll walk through in this video are 1. How to get the necessary software 2. How to find a book 3. How to check out a book and finally 4. How to play, navigate, and enjoy. So let's get started. First, we're going to want to download the OverDrive software. Let's start at our homepage, lovelandpubliclibrary.org. If you look here on the left, you'll see an icon that links to our digital audiobook catalog. A good place to start is getting started. This will take you right to OverDrive's Quick Start Guide, which has all the links you'll need to download the software. We want to download and install free software, and the link is right here to download and install OverDrive Media Console. Here we are at the OverDrive page, where we can choose the version of OverDrive to download. Since we're working with just PCs right now, we're going to leave Windows option clicked, and click on the Download Now button. Let's go ahead and run that install file. We're going to step through the installer that comes with OverDrive Media Console and agree to their terms. And here's where you can select where you want OverDrive to install. I like to leave it just under Program Files. Now we should see OverDrive installed here. Let's go ahead and open it up to make sure it worked. The second step is to make sure that your computer has Windows Media Player. Most PCs come with Windows Media Player already installed, so you shouldn't need to download it. But if you don't have it, a quick Google search will come up with the free Windows Media Player download. There is one other piece that OverDrive needs to work with Windows Media Player, and that's a small security upgrade in order to play the protected files OverDrive uses. Go to Tools, Windows Media Player, Security Upgrade. We can just click OK. You have successfully installed the Windows Media Player Security Upgrade. can close Windows Media Player and now we're ready to go. The next step is finding a book. Again, let's start at the Loveland Public Library homepage. This icon is a link right to the catalog. There are a number of different ways to search the catalog. You can search by title or by author. You can search by format. Or you can do an advanced search, which allows you to be more specific. There are also a number of collections in the sidebar on the left that you can use to find a book. Fiction, nonfiction, and even video and music that you can browse. If you're using OverDrive on a PC, you can download and access any format of content. Here's an alphabetical list of the biography and autobiography offerings in our catalog. If you want, you can sort the list by creator, release date, most popular, or date added to site instead. When you're browsing books, each book listing contains important information for this title. Obviously the name of the book and the author. And there's a rating system as well for users to rate the different audiobooks that they've tried. Underneath are a number of icons which indicate what platforms this particular audiobook can be played on. This book, for example, can be played on a PC, burned to a CD, or transferred to portable players and iPods. Now over here on the right, you're going to see either Add to Cart or Place a Hold. 
This changes depending on the availability of the title. If you see place a hold, the title is not available immediately, but just like a book in the library, you can place a hold on it so that you can check it out as soon as it does become available. If you see add to cart, you can go ahead and check out the book immediately. Let's choose high society and add it to my cart. Again, it's going to give you a summary of the information about this title tells you what platforms it plays on, and it gives you the option to continue browsing if you want to check out more than one book at a time, or proceed to checkout. The site will automatically prompt you to log in. So you'll need to have your card with you so you can type in the number. Under Library, select Loveland Public Library, and then type in your number. Don't forget to replace the percent sign with a zero, and then click Submit. Before you confirm the checkout, you have an option to change the lending period. This is important because you cannot check in any books early. Since you are only allowed to have four audiobooks checked out at a time, you may want to change this to seven days if you think you'll be finished with it then and you're ready to move on to something else. It gives you a last chance to confirm the audiobook that you're checking out. Click on Confirm Checkout. Now this is a list of our account of all the books we have checked out that are available for download. To download the book to your computer, simply click on the download button. It will automatically create a folder in your My Media folder in order to store these audiobooks. Unless you have a specific reason to change it, I recommend just leaving the default. So go ahead and click OK. And if you don't have the folder already, it will create it for you. On this screen, you can choose which parts of the book you want to download. In some cases, you may only want to download part of the book in order to not take up space on your computer. So we could just download part number one and two if we wanted. Click OK when you have the section selected, and the download will begin. There's a progress bar down here at the bottom of the OverDrive Media Console that shows you how the download is progressing and also tells you which part it's on. And just like that, it's done. We have parts one and two downloaded. To play this title, simply highlight the book and click Play. A new window will pop up called the OverDrive Media Explorer, and this gives you the controls to navigate your book. The first button here in the bottom is obviously the play High button. Society, the life of Grace Kelly. And once it's playing, you can also pause the book. By Donald's photo, narrated by George K. Wilson. The stop button will return you to the beginning of the part that you're playing. High Society, the life of Grace Kelly. These left and right buttons jump between the preset media markers in the text. Part 1. Fade in. I Society, the life of Grace Kelly. This forward arrow jumps to the next part. Chapter 2. Part 2. Action. 1951-1956. Chapter 3. Trouble from day one was being rewritten. Here is the time. volume slider. Grace learned a lot. According to Gant, she knew instinctively how to train for the job. She also befriended... And there is also a mute button. ...who had appeared in film since 1950 and... Was this next control the controls the play speed. Normal is obviously the default, but if you'd like to listen to it faster or slower than normal, you can select that option here. chance of bringing Alexander to Broadway was due by the weather and the failure of the play to attract audiences, critics, or interested New York theater audience. Now there are a couple other neat After features of OverDrive for navigating around your book. The play closed. This button and will jump us back 15 the seconds. And the failure of the play to attract audiences. This next critics control allows you to skip to different New parts of the book, role. in particular the furthest After played point. It helps you find your spot me, again if you were stopped unexpectedly. And Where lastly, you can also make your own bookmarks throughout the book. If you want to make a bookmark to mark a particular passage that you want to come back to, simply click on this button and then click Add Bookmark. 
you can change the name of the bookmark to something that you'll recognize and then click OK. Now when I click on this button, I see my bookmark right here. So at any point I can click on it and I'll jump back to where I made that bookmark. You can get back in to edit your bookmarks by clicking on the button again and then clicking Manage Bookmarks. And you'll see a list of all your bookmarks here. You can delete them or rename them. Last but not least, there's a help icon here in OverDrive. Since we're using the OverDrive Media Explorer, this button will automatically open up the article having to do with the Media Explorer. You can navigate this article to find out about different parts of the Explorer if you need more help. There are a couple more important options that I want to point out to you. They live in the Tools menu under Options. You'll notice when you first download OverDrive Media Console, it's set up to automatically play as soon as you open up a book. You can change that here in the Options menu. For instance, right now I have Autoplay completely disabled, so when I open up the book, nothing will happen. You can choose to automatically play from beginning, automatically resume from the furthest played point, or automatically resume from the most recently played point. Close that window, and you're done. That's all the steps to getting and listening to Loveland Public Library's digital audiobooks. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Now, check out a follow-up video on topics like using OverDrive to transfer audiobooks to your iPod, or using the software on a mobile device. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to stop by the Loveland Library Media Department.